hello guys welcome to the channel and this is the last day of 2024 i hope everything is okay with you and your family thank you very much for being here with me this year so thank you very much for your time and your attention so if you didn't subscribe please consider subscribing and let us get to 700 subscribers still today okay well you we have this problem here and we're going to solve it to find the value of x right First of all, we have this denominator here, right? So we have to say that 3, 4, uh, 3, 4, 3, x minus 4, 3, 3, it has to be different from 0, which means that x has to be different from 4, 3, 3 divided by 3, 4, 3. And we cannot simplify nothing more uh, from here. So now let's look at this, this power here, guys. If I add these powers, I'm gonna get something really interesting because there, there is a relation between these powers. So I'm gonna say then 600 here, x minus 5, 4, 3, all divided by 3, 4, 3, x minus 4, 3, 3, and then plus um, 86, x minus 3, 2, 3, over 3, 4, 3, x minus 4, 3, 3. What is this, guys? Is as we can see here, same same denominator, right? Let's just add the 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 numerator. So let me keep this one here. So what we get here is six eight six x minus, and this one minus this. So we're gonna add them and keep the negative sign here. We're gonna have eight six six. And if you look well. If you we can divide these two by two, so simplifying by two, we're gonna have here factor out. I mean, we're gonna factor two here. We're gonna have this is um, three four three x minus four three three, and what is this? The same thing as the denominator. So we got something really interesting here, right? This one go with this one, and we're gonna get that this is equal to. This means that this term here, I'm just gonna copy it and paste down. So I'm going to copy this thing here uh, and, uh, and then I'm going to say control C and I'm going to say control V and I'm, I'm going to then copy it down here. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh, perfect. So now I'm going to say that this is equals to two, right? So this is equal to, okay. Mm -hmm. So if this is two, uh huh. So I'm gonna make a substitution. Then I'm gonna say, well, this time I want to work with this one here. So I'm gonna say that this one here. So I'm gonna copy this one here instead of writing this again. I'm gonna copy this one here. Uh, so it didn't select what I wanted. So I'm gonna select this one here. Control C and Control V here, and I'm just gonna say that. Uh, well, let me let me write this down here. I'm going to say this is equals to this is equal to right minus um, this one here, which I'm going to copy as well to save us some time. Control C, Control V here, Control V here, and then I'm going to say that this is two minus this. Okay, perfect. So since we got this, now we can replace right in our original equation so I'm gonna say then then this is pi and I'm gonna say control V right because we already have this one I think I'm gonna be using these things here because I keep writing and rewriting the same thing over and over again and it doesn't help much okay plus pi this one here and I'm uh, and then I'm gonna write this power here so then I'm gonna get here I'm gonna just copy this one here Right, control C, control V, and then I'm gonna say to the power of two minus this, right? Okay, so and then this is equal to pi square plus one. Okay, cool. Now what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna make a substitution, right? Because I don't want to be writing this term here over and over again. So I'm gonna say actually, I'm gonna say then control V here because I'm gonna let me just take it here so now I'm gonna erase this one here and I'm gonna say that this one here is equal to n so 
and then I'm gonna say instead of N I'm gonna say I'm gonna say A I'm gonna say A okay just to make this substitution right I'm gonna say A so guys so I'm gonna have here this is pi to the A plus pi to the 2 minus A and then this is equal to pi square plus 1 so from here you can use the uh, I mean you can use the inverse you can find the inverse of this but I'm just gonna say I have a negative a here and I want to get rid of this negative a so I'm gonna multiply the whole equation by pi to the power of a so here I have pi to the a times pi to the a plus pi to the 2 minus a here times pi to the a equals here pi squared plus 1 times pi to the power of a okay guys so from here this is just some basic stuff here we have pi to the 2a right plus here we're gonna have pi to the 2 right minus a plus a we're gonna cancel this so we're gonna just get here pi square right so we're just gonna get here that this is uh, actually pi square and then minus, I'm going to bring this one here, minus pi squared plus 1 times pi to the a, and then this is equal to 0. Let me just organize this, this one here as a quadratic equation. This is then pi to the a squared minus pi squared plus 1 times pi to the a, and then plus pi squared. This equation is really beautiful. So from here, guys, we can ex explore two different ways of solving this. Well, the first one, we're going to use both. The first one is I'm going to solve by factoring. And then the second one, we're going to use the quadratic equation. So let's say this is a quadratic equation in terms of pi to the a, right? If, if we solve this in terms of pi to the a as a quadratic equation, this is what we're doing. So first of all, I'm going to factor up this expression. So I'm going to say this, that this is pi to the a. Let me say this is to the 2 right and then this one this one here i'm going to multiply this one times the element in, in in brackets here so i'm going to say minus pi to the a this times this and then minus pi um, to the a times pi square plus pi square right and then this is zero so i'm going to factor this two here and this two here so from here the common one here is pi to the a which multiplies pi to the a because we have two here and then minus 1 and then here we're gonna have pi square right and then pi to the a and then minus 1 equals 0 so this is pretty interesting because we have this one and this one here so this is then pi to the a minus 1 right which multiply pi to the a minus pi square and then this is 0 so we got a product here right so we got then that this is pi to the a minus 1 equals 0 and then we get pi to the a minus pi square equals um, 0. So from here we get pi to the a equals 1. And then we get pi to the a equals pi to the 0. Remember that pi is a real number, right? So this is then pi. Uh, so from here we get then that this is uh, um, then a is equal to 0 so let's say a1 here is equal to 0 and then from here we get pi to the a equals pi square and then we have then that a is equals 2 so this is a2 okay we said that we are going to solve this uh, this problem um, using two different methods okay but I don't want actually this video to get long guys um, okay but as I said, I was doing I was doing that, so I'm gonna keep my word. So I think this is pretty important. So I'm just gonna solve this this equation here as a quadratic equation. So just to keep my word, because maybe someone will tell me in the comment, well, you said you was about to do this and you didn't. So then we're gonna have here from here, this is our quadratic equation. We're gonna have that pi to the a is gonna be equal to negative b, so which is then pi squared plus one plus or minus square root of b square which is minus this square which is this square right pi square plus one square minus 4ac a is this one now c is this one and a is one so we got 
minus four pi square here. So this equation, I think I love pi, all divided by two. So we got then that pi, let me just separate this one. Pi to the A is gonna be pi square plus one plus or minus. Just ha let's have a look here, guys. This one here, actually I'm gonna write this down. My apologies, I'm gonna write this one down here. This is then pi to the A plus equals to pi square plus one plus or minus. We're gonna get ha them that this one from here, um, expanded this square here, we're gonna have, this is pi to the four plus two pi square plus one minus four pi square, all divided by two. So from here we get that is pi to the A equals to pi square plus one plus or minus. And this one here, we will have pi to the four minus this minus this, we're gonna have two pi square plus one, and then this divided by two, okay? So then we have that this is um, pi to the A equals to pi square plus, plus um, this is a plus one. I don't, I don't know why I start getting nervous when the video is, is, is getting longer than 10 minutes. Maybe because people don't watch that much. I don't know, but I'm going to keep solving. Well, I have a compromise, compromise with you here. So then we're going to have here that this is, this is a perfect square. Pi square minus 1. Minus square divided by 2. So we're going to get that this will go with this. So pi to the A then is equal to pi square plus 1 plus or minus. We get then here pi square minus one, right? All divided by two. So from the first one here, right? Uh, to find a one here, we have to say that this is pi to the a equals to pi square plus one plus pi square minus one divided by two. And the other one is pi to the a equals pi square plus one plus Nope, nope, this is then minus, right? Now we're applying the negative sign here, minus pi square, and then minus one here, we're gonna have plus one divided by two, okay? So from here, then we get that this is pi to the A equals to, um, this, this one here, we'll go with this. We're gonna have two pi square divided by two. And here we have pi to the A equals two, this one will go with this, we have two divided by two, and then from here we have pi to the a equals to pi square, and pi to the a here is equal to one. This is the very same thing we get here, okay? This one and this one here. So from here, guys, we get that I'm gonna have, this is then um, a equals to, uh, two here, this will be pi to the zero, so then a equals zero, so a one zero, a two equals two. So, but we didn't we didn't find out the value of, of, of x yet, so we said right there that 600x minus 543 over 343x minus 433 is equal to um, a. So we have two values of a, right? So we're gonna have then that this is gonna be, we're gonna have then 06, um, 5, 4, 3. Oh my God, this video is, is getting pretty long. Okay, anyways, I have to finish it. So um, I hope people don't get bored watching this. So this is then gonna be, um, equals um, A. Okay, the first one here, oh, okay, this is three, four, three X minus four, three, three. I think I'm gonna divide this video probably in two, right? And then join them. So we're gonna have then that this is um, equals to, or this is zero, or we're gonna have that this one here over three, four, three X minus four, three, three. This is equal to, guys, simplifying this very quickly, this is zero, we're gonna have that x is going to be five, four, three here divided by 600, which is 
and then simplifying we get when I get 81 181 divided by 200 this is x1 and x2 here simplifying this we're gonna get that this is gonna be 3 uh, 2 3 divided by 86 okay guys so the solution for this problem actually is x1 equals to 81 81 here divided by 200 and our x2 is equal to 3 2 3 divided by 86 okay I'm not gonna check the solution because um, I don't want to get like the video to 20 minutes uh, people don't actually stop to watch this when it's longer than 10 minutes that's why I get some nervous when I'm recording this video so guys this is the solution please if you find the video pretty long please consider um, increasing the, the speed of the video to um, two okay and uh, please subscribe thank you very much happy happy new year and I wish you all the best and this is one of the equations that I made for this channel that I consider as being like one of the most beautiful ones here even the solution of this problem is beautiful so tell me in the comment what you think of it this is your friend this is Gindo see you next year bye bye